Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Tech Services. This is Brian and I have another cool video for you. Do you have a fiery image controller like this, brand new or used, and you want to update its software, get its latest security patches? Well, this is the video for you. So stay tuned, we'll be right back and I'll show you just how to do that because it is very, very easy. Okay, like I said in the intro, do you have a fiery image controller that you just want to update? We do, so we're going to get started. Now, I'm going to assume that you already have your fiery up and running, plugged into your copier and ready to go. If you don't, watch my other video on how to set up a fiery and uh, get that going first. This is just how to get the security updates. Okay, so first things first, you want to have a working fiery that's already set up. This video is not for that. I already have a video on how to set up, uh, set up a fiery. So I'm assuming you already have a fiery that is up and working. All you need is the cable uh, connected to the LAN port. Don't worry about the copier. That's all you're gonna need and just make sure that it is set up because we are gonna need the IP address. And if you don't have the IP address, we're going to have to run the setup for that. And I'll show you how to do that. So just make sure everything's nice and plugged in there. And then press your little green button there. Let's get started. And on the copier end, turn that on as well. Once everything boots up, we'll be right back. All right, now that we got our info tab right on the screen there. And don't worry about any warnings or anything like that. So we just want to get an IP address for the first time. So that's all we want to do is bind it. So you can do this by going into run setup. Continue to set up. Press that bottom right button there. And it's going to go ahead and turn off for a second, then turn back on. So you'll see that the info is going to disappear, and then it will come back. So as soon as that comes back, I'll be right back, and we're going to enter in the password. Okay, info is back. Now it's going to pop up with the screen. Be fast. Password is fiery.1. And then hit enter. Now you'll see this here. So you're just going to do network setup protocol setup, IP version 4 setup, and then Ethernet setup, enable auto IP configuration, that's fine unless you want to do a static. Just for this video we're going to do DHCP, and yes here for the gateway, obtain IP for engine, that's fine too, and now we're just going to use the top button to exit, exit, and save changes, yes. Okay, and then exit setup. Now it's gonna reboot the system one more time. It takes a couple minutes. Once we come back, we should have an IP address. All right, now info is back. We should have an IP address, so we're just gonna to go to menu, print pages, configuration. It's gonna send the configuration out here, and then we should have an IP address. And don't worry if it takes a little bit, it can be a little slow, so we'll just wait a second. All right, paper has been printed, and our IP address will be there, 192.168.2.23. So that's all we need here. Now we're going to go over to the web interface and do the rest of the security patches from a computer. Okay, so from the computer, we're just going to open up our browser and then type in what the IP address was, which is 192.168. Dot two dot twenty three, just like that. That will be the pop up that you get. Real easy looking menu there. You have downloads. You could download some of the client software for the Fiery. You have your docs, uh, your mailbox if you want to configure that, and then your configuration. So, right here under uh, check for product updates, you're going to click that button. And this is all there. One second. So learn more. We want to allow this connection. So don't worry about this. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Now that we're in, this is what you're going to see 
your patches here. So you have your patch order one, two, three, and four. So you're gonna start with one. You'll just bring this drop down and you're gonna download the first one. And as soon as it downloads, you'll just go ahead and open it. And like I said, you're just gonna do one at a time. Select yes, yes, accept. And the password will be the same thing, fiery.1. And then the host name will be the IP address, 192.168.2. Yeah, and I keep forgetting it. 23. 23. I'm going to copy that for next time, make it easy. Okay, hit connect. You'll see the patch there. Hit download. Perfect really quick then you just hit next and you'll see reboot just leave reboot selected that's fine let's uh, we want to reboot it just hit finish okay the fiery as you can see it'll have it'll be flashing some different numbers there and it'll go back to zero zero just give that about two three minutes uh, when the patch is done installing uh, the fiery reboots and then we'll come back to the main screen here and we'll go ahead and you'll see idle that uh, will pop up and we're actually gonna get a little printout. The printout will let you know that the patch has been installed. So we'll wait on that and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Idle screen's here. So, if you printed nothing, so go to info, menu, print pages, configuration. Now we're gonna get the configuration and a log file that will show us that the patch has been installed. Okay, just like that, that is our system update log. As you can see, there's the date and time and there's the patch ID. Now there is four of these. I won't show all of them. It'll take a little bit of time, but I will show you the second one and we'll go through the, uh, the process again really quick. So that's step one, I mean patch one. Now let's go for patch two. Okay, now let's do patch two. So one's already done. We'll just minimize that, and let's do two. Okay, same thing. Make sure you read the notes. I've already read those. Okay, and that is 295, so we're going to go ahead and open that. Yes, and then make sure the package is correct. And same thing. Fiery.1. Host name 192.168.2.23 and then connect. Confirm and now we're downloading. All done, that one was fast, same thing. Reboot, finish, and we will wait for the Fiery to finish rebooting. Okay, numbers bouncing around again as they should. They'll go solid double zero when it is finished. And we will come right back up top and the idle screen will pop right back up. Just give it a couple more minutes. Okay, just like that, number two, same thing, menu. Print pages, configuration, and let's check the log. All right. There it goes, and you can see there's the top one and then the bottom one, so you can see. So far, it's taken two. We have two more to go, but I'm not going to show those. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching. How to update your Fiery for its security settings. Now, every Fiery is different. Yours may need only one patch. Maybe yours needs ten, but at least you will know how to do it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.